Andy Hall and I'm a certified application engineer here at Go Engineer. Um, today I'm going to do a quick tip video on uh, some of the new things that we see in 2011, more particularly the walkthrough um, functionality. And this is really one of those neat things that they put in to let us uh, see and better visualize our assemblies, especially those assemblies that are these big huge things that you'd walk through and you want to do like a animation or a, some motion thing that uh, allows us to get a ve better visualization of of walking through. So just to show you where that's at in the view lights and cameras add walkthrough. You can click on that to add it or you can go over to our new display tab display manager tab and just right click on the walkthrough icon and add walkthrough this will bring us to the property manager and it'll default to, to the top plane as our selection plane of where we're standing on. If you just imagine us standing on that and our height of where our eye level is, it usually defaults to something around five and a half feet. So I'm just going to select this and uh, type in a, a value here that's more appropriate for this particular assembly just to show you how this works. And then for our motion constraints, just select on a few, a few of these options or a few of selections out here in the graphics area. I have this split face here that's going to constrain some of our motions. And also, I've got a predefined sketch that's going to be a path just to show you some things later on. Anyway, I'll go ahead and uh, to start my capture, my start my walkthrough. I'll select on this capture walkthrough button and you can see it brings me into sort of where I see a map view and also some controls of my motion. I have some arrow keys here that'll let me move around, move from side to side, spin around. And the neat thing about this is what they've done is, you notice my mouse will move the screen as I move it, but also this W, A, S, or DS, just similar controls that if you're like a video game nerd, you can, you'll you'll like because they've they've pretty much mimicked how most video games move on your computer with your mouse and your and your back and forth. Now the way the constraints work, well, a couple things here on this toolbar is that you have a you can increase your speed so you can go a little bit faster down the down the 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 walkthrough and then you can also constrain with this bu this button here locks you to constraint or you can select a constraint to lock to through here and this toggles you through your various constraints so we'll start off with this face just to show you how it'll work I'm hitting my W key to move forward move from side to side when I move forward I can turn around with my mouse and just follow it like you would a video game through your part you can also record record it and play it back and record it and render it actually with your photo view 360 so you can get a nice view so a cool thing is is now I can sort of uh, <clears throat> constrain to a sketch and then walk through just uh, with my buttons here and <clears throat> just push my forward button and it just walks through and oh no watch out for that ghost <laughs> anyway <clears throat> cool thing is, is if I go ahead and record it um, just to show you what happens as I record it I go ahead and move through and record some various motions here just moving through the maze when I stop it, I come back here, I can play back the walkthrough, of course, and it'll move back exactly what I did. But then also, I got the option here just to show you is generate video, and there's some some rendering options, of course, save as type, the various AVI files, but I can also use a renderer. If I have my Photo View 360 add-in turned on, I can use that, and it would render out using whatever... I have applied on Photo View 360. Anyway, this has been sort of a general overview of the walkthrough functionality. I hope you check out some of our other quick tip videos that are available. Thanks.